Chinese state media is reporting that the most sacred site in Tibetan Buddhism, the Jokhang Temple, has reopened after part of it caught fire. But with news of the blaze still being heavily restricted, the true extent of the damage is impossible to verify. Tibetans living abroad say that photos and posts about the blaze are being quickly censored. The monastery in the heart of Tibetan capital Lhasa is widely considered the most important shrine in Tibetan Buddhism. And there's been much grief and concern among Tibetans, as Laura Westbrook reports. Smoke fills the sky at one of the most holy places in Tibet. This footage posted online shows the roof of the Zhou Kang Monastery in flames. Chinese state media said no one was hurt and the temple in Lhasa has now been reopened. But it's not known how much damage this thousand-year-old monastery has suffered. The sprawling complex covers more than six acres. Official reports did not specify which part of the temple was damaged by the fire. That's because Beijing maintains tight control of Tibet. As the news of the fire spread on Chinese social media, there were reports photos were quickly being taken down by authorities. But you would think that this would be an issue where they would rush to show people, to reassure them that the temple uh, has not been badly damaged. But there's almost no news coming out at all in the last 24 hours. It's probably not the fault of the Chinese, probably the flames spread from another building nearby. That's what we're guessing. But the fact that they weren't able to put it out quickly, it, it is damaging for the Chinese. It's very unfortunate. It's going to set back relations again, uh, especially since nobody knows really what has been damaged and what has survived. Tibetan Buddhists consider this to be their most sacred site, traveling to prostrate themselves at the statue of the Shakyamuni Buddha, the founder of the religion. Laura Westbrook, BBC News.